Security cameras come in all different shapes and sizes. We have fixed lens, we have motorized lens, turrets, bullets, vandal domes. They come in resolutions ranging from full HD 1080p all the way up to 4K Ultra HD, which all begs the question, which security camera is right for you and your unique situation? Well, what if I told you that there was one specification that you could look at and know almost instantly whether or not a particular security camera would work for you? Well, there is, and that's what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. Hey guys, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and today we're going to be talking all about Dory. No, no, Dory with an I. No, no, Dory, D-O-R-I, Dory. Dory stands for Detect, Observe, Recognize, and Identify. This is an international standard for determining how far a security camera can see a particular object with four different levels of accuracy. First, we have the detect distance, which tells you how far away a security camera can effectively detect an object. Next, we have observe. This is the level where you'll be able to determine certain characteristics of the object. The next level is recognize. At this level, you should be able to recognize a person that you already know. You'll be able to make out even more details and even read license plate numbers on vehicles if the conditions are right. Finally, we have the identify level. At this distance, you should be able to accurately identify a person beyond a reasonable doubt. So that is Dory in a nutshell. The distance at which a particular security camera can detect, observe, recognize, and identify an individual or an object. But what does all of this mean in practice? Let's dive a little bit deeper. First, let's talk about how the Dory distances are actually calculated. Now, this is an international standard, which means it is objective. It's gonna be the same across every security camera. The problem with this is we are trying to objectify something that is innately subjective, which is how well you can see something on a security camera. Whatever the case, in order to compare visibility distances from camera to camera, we need a standard. We need something objective. That's what Dory attempts to do. The measurement that every Dory distance is based on is pixels per meter. At 25 ppm, we say a security camera is able to detect an object. At 62 ppm, observation begins. The ability to recognize starts at 125 ppm and identification is 250 ppm. Based on these numbers, we're able to take the resolution of the camera as well as the focal length of the camera and determine the Dory distances. Again, keep in mind that we are using objective measurements to determine a subjective characteristic. Let's talk about a few examples. Let's say you have a low resolution camera, two megapixels, at a very short focal length, like 2.8 millimeters. At 2.8 millimeters, your camera's field of view is going to be wide, zoomed out, and capturing the bigger picture of the environment. And at a 1920 by 1080 resolution, you're only gonna have about two million pixels. So with a low resolution and a short focal length, we are going to have short Dory distances. Let's take this two megapixel PTZ for example. When the lens is zoomed all the way out at this 2.8 millimeter focal length, we have a detect distance of 43.4 meters. Here I am standing exactly 43 meters away from this camera. You can detect that I'm there, you can detect that I'm moving, but if I didn't tell you that that was me, you would have a hard time recognizing me. You can't really tell what I'm holding. It's difficult to see. As I move closer into the observation level, you can now see a little bit more detail here at this 17.4 meters. But you might still have a hard time recognizing me and you definitely wouldn't be able to identify me beyond the shadow of a doubt. Recognition with this two megapixel, 2.8 millimeter lens camera doesn't start until I'm 8.7 meters away. And for full identification, I have to be 4.3 meters away from this camera. That's pretty darn close. Let's compare that with this 4K motorized lens turret at the same focal length, 2.8 millimeters. Just with increasing the amount of pixels that we have in the image, the detect distance jumps all the way to 86.9 meters. I can observe at 34.8 meters. I can recognize at 17.4 meters and I can identify at 8.7 meters. Now let's zoom these camera lenses and check out the Dory distances at this 12 millimeter focal length. With our two megapixel PTZ zoomed in at a 12 millimeter focal length, our detect distance is 186.2 meters. We can observe at 74.5 meters. We can recognize at 37.2 meters and we can identify at 18.6 meters. 
With our 4K camera zoomed all the way in at 12 millimeters, we can detect at a whopping 372.4 meters. You can see in this instance, I am way down the street. I can barely even see our Nelly security building. I definitely can't see the camera. So a camera like this is perfect if you want to be able to detect people on your security camera before they can even detect the camera. Moving down the list, we have the observe range here at 149 meters. The recognize range at 74.5 meters. And the identify range at 37.2 meters. Now, I know I threw a lot of numbers at you just now, so let me throw up a couple of diagrams to help you visualize this a little bit better. So as you can see from learning about Dory, it's super important to know before you buy your camera exactly what you want your camera to do. It's good to know the exact distance in meters that you want to cover with your security camera. If you want to focus solely on your front yard, for instance, you can get away with a shorter focal length like 2.8 millimeters and a lower resolution like two megapixels. If you have a larger space to surveil, like maybe a large parking lot, you're going to need a lot more than a 2.8 millimeter two megapixel security camera. And in fact, with something like this, you might need to combine cameras with a 4K 2.8 camera to catch a wider field of view, combined with some two megapixel, four megapixel, or even 4K PTZs, so that you can zoom in and pick up on that crisp detail when you really need to. Every video surveillance situation is unique, so these Dory numbers are really gonna help you dial in which camera you need depending on what you want your camera to do. Again, take these numbers with a grain of salt and don't rely 100% on the Dory numbers. You'll still want to keep other specs in mind like the IR distance if you're going to be recording footage at night, the IP rating if your camera is gonna be located outdoors, the IK rating if it's going to be located in an area that's easy to reach or just an area with a lot of vandalism. There is a lot more that goes into selecting the perfect security camera, but focusing on these Dory distances really is a great way to narrow down the vast amount of options available to you. If this video was helpful for you, if you learned a thing or two, be sure to give it a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us across social media so you never miss a security video. As always, thanks for watching this video, happy installing, and we will catch you in the next one.